हेलो वेलकम बैक इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल टॉक अबाउट हाउ बाइंडर जेटिंग थ्री डी प्रिंटिंग वर्क सो एज इट इज क्लियर फ्रॉम नेम दैट बाइंडर इट मीन्स वी आर यूजिंग बाइंडर फॉर क्रिएटिंग आवर थ्री डी मॉडल सो लेट्स टॉक अबाउट बाइंडर जेटिंग थ्री डी मॉडल सो बाइंडर जेटिंग थ्री डी प्रिंटिंग हैज ए वेरियस एडवांटेजेस दैट अदर थ्री डी प्रिंटर्स आर नॉट द बिगेस्ट इज दैट द स्पीड एंड रिजोल्यूशन आर वेरी हाई एज कंपेरटिव टू अदर थ्री डी प्रिंटिंग प्रोसेसेज as in other d printing printing processes we are using lasers electron beams for melting our for melting our powders but here in bind, binder jetting we are using binder to create our model in upcoming slides we will talk about detail so binder jetting is a family of additive manufacturing process uh, basically in binder jetting a binder is selectively deposited on the powder bed bonding that these areas together to form a solid part one layer at a time The materials commonly used in binder jettings are metals, sand, and ceramics that come in granular form. So now let's talk about how does binder jetting works. So first, a recoating blade spreads a thin layer of powder over the build platform. Once a powder has been deposited to your build platform, then a carriage with inkjet nozzles, as we have seen about our a regular life 2d printers where we insert our blank page and we get a page which has been printed by ink jet so similarly in binder jetting there is with there be ink we are replacing the name of ink by the binder and these binders when comes to contact with our uh, powders then this binder will bond those powders together to make a layer so Uh, here the size of our binder or droplet is basically 80 micron meter in diameter so that is a very good resolution and good resolution can be achieved in binder jetting also if you are using uh, different colors of binder then you can uh, make create a different uh, color object when your first layer is completed the build platform moved downwards as we talked about SLA and SLS also that once one layer is completed your build platform move downwards and the blade record the surface and again the new powder will come out and the process then repeats until the whole part is completed so similarly as we have discussed in so many uh, different type of heavy bending that the process is same powder will be there but the difference is that here we are using binder and this binder will basically gluing our Uh, powders to make a model so after once your printing has been completed the part is encapsulated in the powder and is left to cure and again strain then the part is removed from the powder bin and excess powder is cleaned via a pressurized air here in this diagram you will get a more idea like how this whole process works so here in left hand side you can see this is a powder roller this is a powder upper there is a roller so this is a new powder stroke and this there is a powder roller and this is your build platform here all uh, also the powder is available then this is our liquid binder liquid binder is with it means binder will basically will come into contact with inkjet print head and this binder will come contact with the powder and create a layer so this whole process will come complete within two or three steps the first step has been completed it means your model has been created now after printing curing and removing the parts from the bed of metal powder one option is to place parts in a furnace where the binder is burnt out and the remaining metal particles are sintered or bonded together depending on the temperature of the furnace and the time parts are sintered they can be 99% dense or as much as 60% porous so it depends because uh, once your uh, product has been completed you can heat it and once you will heat your model then the binder which are supposed the binder as from polymer or whatever the material binder will burn out and por porosity will be remain if you want to make a uh, fully solid parts where you don't need any porosity then you can use bronze or any metals and infiltrate the voids resulting in parts with low porosity and good strength similarly sometimes highly porous parts may be desired for lightweight applications or medical implants as we know in medical implants there is a porosity has been shown to capable bone growth because uh, in medical implants what we need that according to the age the uh, the bone should grow and this can definitely be achieved by 
giving some porosity so this can also be done in binder jetting so this is how this whole process works now let's talk about various metals or alloys can be used in binder jetting so stainless steel tool steels low alloy steels nickel cobalt titanium aluminum copper bronze these all materials can be used uh, to create our model in binder jetting 3d printing so i hope you have got the fair idea about various types of 3d printing processes thank you so much if you want to learn 3d printing from design to finished product you can join the full course this course consists 50 plus video lectures and course is divided in so many modules you can check the detailed information in description box in this course along with video lectures you will get quizzes assignments and notes after the completion of the course you will get authorized certificate which can be useful for your academic or job interviews so click to the link present in description box and start your 3d printing journey now